is a total zombie gore holocaust, and you're all invited! in the house, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. I'm gonna send this song out to the Chicago crew. There's so many fucking of you here tonight. And I'm a little bit aged. I don't remember all your names, but especially I want to say hey to Ken. Yeah. The Metal Merchant. And Sean fucking Ferguson. All you sick motherfuckers. And Mr. Vomit. Okay. And all you sick bastards from Chicago, this one's for you. And you do, and this was for you, bro. Is it? And I work for the street cleaner. Testicle difficulties. Uh, intro loop, please, Mr. Andrew. Pardon. Man. 
must never have been sad It's fun to be made To dispose of the recently dead Bullets for the like a bow and kill a scream Bullets for the life, bullets for the rise Fight for what is what is like, what is true to you Now you know I'm there and I am Jared Why do I here? And it could be Don't make sure you got clean underpants Sick motherfuckers! This is an old one, but aren't they all? I want to send this one out to the, uh, hey, not a whole lot. Jeff is in the house. Hey, Jeff, what's up? Oh. <laughs> I want to toss this out to the Bloomington Normal Gang for all the support. Jeff, Rob, Jim, Dougie, yeah, Tracy, and Roger, John, you fucking sickos. Chris, Jason, Merle is in the house. This is a song about a guy that I used to be in a band with. You guys know all this shit. For real, I was in a band with this guy. He was a vocalist in my group, The Dead Trendies. He kept his lung cheese in a glass underneath the bed. He came over and hung out with him, he'd show it to you. A lot of scabs, a lot of strange and interesting smells about the guy. Inspired me to write this little tale about this uh, particular individual coming by and visiting you in your neighborhood. Where do you think you are safe from harm? You're not. Next time you call the cable guy, mark my words, this son of a bitch is gonna show up. This is called the Revenge of the Scabby Man. And it goes like this.
should have picked the blue pill, motherfucker! That kind of treat. You know, a few years ago, there was a sick motherfucker who sent some complete and utter morons to fly some planes into the World Trade Center. Do you remember this? The head honcho, they haven't found him yet, obviously. And our project manager is still in office, obviously. Before this guy made headlines, there was another friend of ours who hated the world so much, he gave us the gift of his anger and his pain. He infiltrated the food industry, pissing in the milk, jacking off in the soup. You know him. A lot of you may have gone to eat pizza around the corner tonight. Is he working there? Some of you guys got a mixed drink at the bar this evening. Is he working there? Last time you got a mushroom and Swiss burger at Hardee's, did you feel ill afterward? This son of a bitch is so sly, he does his job, he gets in and out and he never gets caught and he's been doing it for years. Is he here? Is it you? Is it you? Is it the guy standing next to you? It's probably Devin. This one goes out to all you sick bastards came down here from Holland, especially Sly from Fondo Corpse. You're the man. A little song about the staff terrorists.
another love song we wrote way back when before that I want to stop right here and I want to thank somebody Mr. Matt Bishop and his team for putting on a great show Andrew Vaughn all you son of this is a hand 20 years ago, if we'd have done this, there'd have been 15 of you here, seven of you would have hated us, the rest of you would have hated all the rest of the bands, and y'all would have been home by now. Unless you were life sentence. Okay, this one goes out to Matt and Dave from Lividity. It's a bloody pit of horror, ladies and gentlemen. It's totally crazy, you fuckers. You're being too quiet. Ha 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 ha! 
chucked in the car. Fucking throat is as golden as ever. I want to uh, introduce another friend of mine, a sick motherfucker named Rob. That's right, it's Zombie Rob. I want to throw this one out to all our out-of-town friends. Canada, from Holland. Oh, a couple motherfuckers here from India. Steve Eggs. Putrid. And Sound and Dawn of the Dead Jim from Minch. This is called... Finally.
fucking sick of rock. This one's gonna be interesting. Let me tell you something. That's right. Yeah. Hey! Yeah! Okay, that hideous signal that brings the dead back to life.
Thanks again, you're all fucking sick. Eh. Oh, I'm having a bit of a brain fart here. Oh, yeah, okay, good. Fucking A. You know, we're not just your ordinary teenage emo band. We have a few differences. Okay, yes, point number one, our pants do fit. That, that's questionable. You make up your mind about that one. Don't ask, don't tell. Okay, I'm not crying right now. That's a good one. Actually, this is pretty cool. I gotta tell you what. Um, been a long time and, uh, since we played together, and uh, here we are. Here all you are. A lot of motherfuckers here I haven't seen for years. Some of you I've mean for the first time. Uh, and some things are different now than they were 20 years ago. Uh, like we actually have monitors that work. But some things haven't changed. I won't ask you when the last time you saw a good horror movie was. I'll ask you, I'll ask you about the last horror, good horror movie you saw. What year was it made? I have, a, I have a problem. I have a problem where Lord of the Rings was brought to us by the magic of CGI. It's ruined other things since the last time you and I talk about it. So I wrote a letter, uh, I wrote a letter to a guy that always helped me when I was a kid get through all the bullshit that I went through in my life growing up. And I asked him why, oh why, is this bullshit so lame? I mean, come on. Texas Chainsaw Massacre again? What was wrong with the first one? Yeah. Nothing, okay? Saw? Have you seen Saw? No. One, two, three. Strikes you out, Saw. Seen it. to my dear Uncle Creepy. And I asked him, why? Why is it things can't be like when we used to go to the drive-in and hang out back at the station wagon, have a few beers, watch scalps, or the boogins. We used to crawl in our bedrooms in the middle of summer and read our creepy and eerie magazines. Everything was fine, 
It's just, it's just such a shame. I want to dedicate this to one single gentleman here, a fellow named Billy Nocera from Razorback Records. Thanks a lot for coming out here, brother, and for supporting us all these years, and now he's reissued both of our uh, hit selling disco albums. I have a, I no longer want to be the first thrash metal band on MTV. I want to be the oldest guy on Razorback Records. Am I there? Billy, thanks for coming, brother. This one's for you. It's called Dear Uncle Creepy.
Sick son of a bitch that kinda helped get me started in this field of work. Actually, we just met the other day. This is 20 years, so I, and I just, you know. Anyway, 45. I remember this tape. Evil Dead. You know. Ladies and gentlemen, Cam Lee is in the house. Of Denial Fiend. Sick motherfucker he is. Oh, yes. Jim. Oh, we'll talk later. This one is uh, dedicated to Cab. Thanks a lot for coming and hanging out and doing your thing. Denial Fiend. New album's coming out. He's the fucking man. More is than one. I also want to send this out to John McEntee, who is here. Hey, John. Go. Am's gonna sing a little hip song called The Boneyard. Thank <laughs> you. 
very much. Thanks, Cam. That was fucking sick, man. Thanks for everything you've done, bro. Ah. Time is getting away from us. We only have a couple more songs. I'm gonna send this out to uh, all the bands we played with tonight. I don't have a long enough tongue to mention all of you, but I do want to say Cyanide. You guys killed me. Uh, Mortician will be after us. Hey, fucking Will. Fucking sick. Embalmer, hey, fucking A. Dead for days. Estuary. Wow. Human artifacts. Cardiac arrest. And Lividity, just to name a few. Hey, but where are you? This is a song, yeah, there he goes. Woo! All right. This is a song about, uh, hey, damn, there he goes. a funny story about a guy who tried to make everybody think he was captured by the cannibals, crucified and left to die. Actually, he couldn't find steady work doing anything else, so he put the holes in his hands and his feet himself. And also worked as the human water fountain. Mortado, oh Mortado, wherefore art thou, Mortado? Thanks a lot. Everybody fucking played today. This is Mortado.
one goes out to Macabre, Master, Autopsy, Repulsion, Death, Massacre, Lyra Batano, you're fucking sick, and this is uh, Red uh, Wigglers, the Cadillac of War! If not, oh well, it's fine.